What do you get when you put a group of fanboys in a room with a mic? From video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary, nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Ditch, G-Roll, and Player 2, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. Welcome to the Peter and Al Podcast. Oh yeah, it's time to get to put those headphones in and whip them. Peter's out, because it's time for the Peter and Al Podcast with your host. <laughs> this will be Junior this time, and we traded out Chub D. No Chub D. Uh, and we're here with none other than the rock of the show. <laughs> A.K.A. Super Brain. Super Brain, yeah. So what's going on? I wasn't here last week because I had Bolido. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was in Mexico. Yeah. What and the fuck, man? I spend a lot of time in Mexico. Don't ask me why. Nothing illegal. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just, just in the most sketchy part of Mexico as well. Exactly. Don't ask. Uh, so... Are you gonna get Hogwarts? I I'm going. I'm planning on it, but I'm fucking stuck on Fire Emblem. Okay. Which I haven't talked about Fire Emblem on the show. You should talk about it. I'm, I'm about to talk about Hogwarts. So I'm I'm loving it right now, mainly because it it's actually challenging. Normally, normally in Fire Emblem, at least in the recent, more recent games, like the beginning is kind of hard, kind of difficult, and then your characters just snowball into like just monsters, and, and then they completely destroy everything uh, going forward and right now it's kind of the opposite like, nice. uh, everything kind of feels strong in the beginning and now characters I thought were strong aren't as strong anymore and then characters and then other characters are kind of like coming becoming better so I gotta figure all that stuff out this is like a super Mexican episode just just based on the background noises right now yeah cause we got mad chicken we, we got, got mad, mad chickens yeah, mad cocks yeah, everywhere mad in the cocks. background we got dogs barking we got wind chimes yeah <laughs> one of those is see it could be it's either super relaxing with the wind and the in the, the wind chimes or and then the, but then the roosters and the dogs decide to <laughs> yeah. kick in there too yeah, like, gets all paisa <laughs> gets super paisa um that's cool you, you got it on switch yeah i'm about to check it out um yeah i've been on hogwarts like mm-hmm. i like i was already i went in with high expectations based on the reviews yeah and it's even better than i thought it was gonna be really? it's so fucking good like it feels like okay, like it, it feels like the movies. Yeah, it's it feels pretty, like so. It's, so it's pretty much like what you'd want. Yeah, it's, from, from a Harry Potter game. It's right? exactly like, what you would want from a Harry Potter game. Like you get to live out the the school fantasy, right? And yeah. Then also, the wizarding stuff. Yeah, and uh, uh, the combat is is extremely satisfying. <laughs> I I actually I would recommend because I I wasn't sure what to expect going in when it came to combat, so I went in with the normal difficulty, mm-hmm. and I ended up changing it to the harder difficulty. Just because it's, it was, it, I mean, cause it's so fluid mm-hmm. and like, it just feels like everything just like, it's hard to explain. Like, so you have what they call a basic cast. It's just like you're, they're just shooting a red bullet, mm-hmm. right? And then you have your other spells. And so those are, you hold R2 and then hit a corresponding, you know, face button. Yeah. And then you can swap those out and you can swap them out. Like, like there's a menu kind of pops up that you freeze the stuff so you can kind of swap them out on the fly. But eventually you can get a, 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 a skill that lets you just like double tap and it'll swap it out for you. Mm. So the combat, the combat feels like everything about this game feels amazing. Okay. Um, I honestly have no complaint. Well, I have one complaint. I have one complaint is like as when it comes to the character creation, it's kind of just like here's a bunch of generic ass faces. And here's some skin colors. <laughs> <laughs> and here's some hair. So, like, my character, like, w- whenever I create a character in a game, and if I can't make it I, where I feel like it looks like me, uh, I put a mask on him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're doing? So, uh, I, I don't know if I sent it, I sent it to you. Uh, you might have. I so, like, I, so I, have, like a, I have a mask on. Like, my uh-huh. character, oh, he's always wearing a mask. And then, like, the hair, like, none of the hair was good. Like, the closest one they had was, like, a sh- like it was, like, not quite shaved head, but it had just, like, a, like, if you just got a one, a buzz cut. Uh, they didn't have any teenagers with, like, 
semi balding. No, no, hair. no, no semi balding hair. <laughs> not well, not even like not even like a like a, like a lineup or anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, well, oh, fuck. So then I went with the semi bald hair. So then I just keep my hood up all the time. <laughs> but what's funny? So okay, so that brings me to another kind of. It's not a complaint, but it's just something funny to me. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, oh, so when you're in the cutscenes in Hogwarts, everyone's wearing. The uniform, the school uh-huh. uniform, right? Uh-huh. And then, like, but like, because that's what you start off with. You start off with the school uniform, and then you can, you know, unlock other robes, masks, wear your hood up, wear it down, and so like you're the only one in the whole school that looks <laughs> different. not wearing the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is it multiplayer or is it, it a... not? Yet. I think they're going to be adding a multiplayer element to it, uh-huh. but as of now, it's not. Okay. So, so there's a couple things that are missing. So there's no Quidditch. Mm-hmm. There's no Patronus. And there's no multiplayer. Okay, what's the point of Patronus in, in the game if, you, if it was there? Uh, you know, well, it would be war to ward off the... Uh, Dementors? The Dementors. So, and so that's the thing, so like... So what do you do now? You just run? Well, no, no, there's, no, there, there, there's only Dementors in one section at the moment. Uh-huh. And that's, you only get that part if you go to the... If, you, if you're a Hufflepuff. Mm-hmm. And so it's like it's a Hufflepuff exclusive mission. Gotcha. And you're not even the one that casts Patronus. It's like someone else that does it for you. Oh, it saves you. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, that's that's what's kind of cool. So like, I, I just found out there's a trophy. For Are you like, a Hufflepuff? Is that how you know? No, I'm a Gryffindor. Oh. Uh, I just found out because uh, so there's a tro- like I was looking at the tro- there's a trophy that you have to get to a certain point in the game mm-hmm. with each member of every house. Okay. So with with because so so when you go to your create games like you there's like multi you can create multiple uh, characters. Saves or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so you can get one can create one for each house mm-hmm. and so each house. Like the the core of the the backbone of the story is the same, but like the like the missions are like there's exclusive missions for each house. Mm. Then each each uh, like the common room is obviously different, and there's certain there's like and then the characters you interact with are different. Oh, that's cool. So like I'm, I'm a Gryffindor, and with the Gryffindor uh, house, like you have so like one of the missions, the it's a Gryffindor exclusive mission that I just finished is you go with a uh, nearly headless Nick, and he takes you he he. Is trying to bribe his way into the headless hunt, mm-hmm. and so like you know he can't get in the headless hunt because he's technically not headless, and so he goes. You try to bribe your way. He tries he's trying to. He's trying to use you to help him bribe his way in, mm-hmm. and so you actually get to meet the headless hunt and see them playing their games and like the reason he wants to join, oh. which is kind of cool. And then like but, but that mission for like that's so. In, if you're a Hufflepuff, instead of doing that mission, you go to Azkaban. Oh, okay. And then like if, like I forget what the Ravenclaw mission was, and then the Slytherin. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a lot of fucking fun, and Hogwarts is fucking huge. Yeah, Hogwarts itself, just the school, is fucking massive. Mm-hmm. And then the world map itself is even, even fucking bigger. bigger. Yeah. So like, so how does the world map? So it's just like, is it just the surrounding areas of Hogwarts? So there's Hogmeade, like- there's there's Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and then there's like a, like it opens up, and uh-huh. there's like other like small villages and hamlets and stuff around. And so, like, it's, it's just, it's, like, basically, yeah, it's Hogwarts in the center, and then, like, everything kind of everything around. surrounding it. Yeah. Okay. I, was, uh, I was curious if it was, like, Hogwarts, and then you, like, fast travel out into, like, the, the world map. Yeah, no. And then, like, uh, and then the way it works, too. So, like, the fast travel <laughs> is flu powder, which is cool. But it's not, like, it's not, like, oh. And we're back. And we're back. One more game. Apologize for the interruptions, but yeah. So so far, the, you got something in your, your stash there. Uh, the game is a lot of fucking fun. Uh, the you know what? To okay, I feel like uh, because I played for Spooking right before it. Like I think I think just because Hogwarts is so much better. Uh-huh. Like it just like it feels so like traversal great. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't even start. I haven't even gotten a broom yet. So I, I can't fly yet. Oh, okay. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably maybe not even a quarter. Well, I might be a quarter away into the story. Like how many hours? Actually, no, I take that back. Uh, I'm probably like maybe four hours in. Mm-hmm. So I'm not even a quarter of the way in. So like looking at my, like, the like uh, uh, you have a collection. Uh-huh. My collection, like, it's only like 12, like, not even, it's like 2%. No, I think I'm at 8%, 8%. So mm-hmm. okay. that's where I'm at, like, in the world. Um, but yeah, it's... It's fucking cool. Uh, the characters you meet are kind of are fairly generic, you know. There's like there's some Weasleys in there. 
like you know they're like oh like yeah they're just they're like the, the cockroach yeah, and fucking yeah. family that's just, just all over the place yeah and then so this takes place 200 years before mm-hmm. uh, Harry Potter mm-hmm. so um, do you remember the, you, you read have you read the books or you just only seen the movies uh, I've read I think I've read the first two books okay. and then I've just seen the movies you've seen all the movies okay do you remember uh you know Sirius Black's great grandfather, the one that he was the headmaster at Hogwarts, no. the one that uh, Dumbledore sends to check on Sirius when they're in the, like, when Sirius disappears at some point, and like, uh, Dumbledore looks at the like looks at the painting and says, "Go check on him," and then he disappears. Oh, was that? I didn't know that was. His yeah, grandfather that's or that's yeah, because his his other paintings at Sirius Black's house. Okay. Because he's uh, his great grandfather. Uh-huh. But uh, <laughs> so he's the headmaster at Hogwarts at the time. Mm-hmm. And so the way they put it, the way the way that I, cause I was like trying to figure out the timeline, and so the way they put it is Dumbledore at at this point is still two years from even getting his Hogwarts letter. So, oh, okay. so Dumbledore is like nine years old during this storyline. He's nine through. years old. He's nine years old. Dumbledore is over two hundred years old, or what? That's what they say. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. So at the t- so at but he, he looks so young <laughs> in in, uh, in Fantastic in Beasts. Fantastic Beasts, yeah. So I guess so. At the time that the Harry Potter movies happened, uh, he was like 180. Uh, so that's what like like the timeline. So he was like he hadn't even gotten into Hogwarts letter at this. Point. He's alive in the universe, but uh, he's not attending Hogwarts yet. It's not. It's a little inconsistent here. Yeah. With Fantastic Beasts, because Fantastic Beasts is how many years before I Harry th- Potter? Well, no. That, well, so this takes place in the 1800s. Right. And I think it's like the 1940s or. No, it's the 20s, 1920s. Mm-hmm. Fantastic Beast. 20s or 30s, somewhere around there. Yeah, and then isn't it still... So it's like isn't another like 100 years. Isn't it like the 60s in uh, Harry Potter? At some point, they do something in the 60s, I think. I thought, it, like, Harry... Like, actual Harry Potter, the movies, isn't it like... It's like old-timey. No, no, no. Isn't Harry it? Potter Harry Potter is... Like, all the cars are old. Well, no, no, no. But that's just because, like, wizards don't use cars. So Harry Potter takes place in yeah, but they're in, in England. They're in London. Yeah, still. but Harry Potter takes place in like two thousands. I'm fairly sure. Take let me see. I could be wrong. You know Harry Potter better than us. I don't. I, I feel like I don't know it like that much better. Yeah. But I, I kind of. So I'm just saying because all the cars just look very very old. Old in that. That's because in England all the cars look old. So when. Let's see what year, year, or what time? What uh, time period do the Harry Potter movies take place? From nineteen ninety one to nineteen ninety eight. Oh, all right. There you go. So it's in the nineties. So. Yeah. So, because Harry Potter was born in, or I think, wait, because Harry Potter's birthday is like in the eighties, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so at one hundred and twenty years old, he looks. Like, barely forty. Yeah. So Harry Potter, <laughs> Harry Potter's a year older than me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he looks barely. He looks barely forty. Ages. A wizard's age differently. Okay. Yeah, but it's inconsistent. <laughs> is all I'm saying. Yeah. You're yeah. telling me he was he was eighteen for fucking uh, the first hundred years of his life, yes. and then he started aging. Yes, he was. So, <laughs> um, the one. Okay. So the other complaint I have is not really a complaint. Okay, but. It was something you guys talked about about the gay episode, like, which I haven't seen of uh-huh. Last of Us yet, uh, where it's like it's gay, but it's not for us shoving it down your throat kind of thing. Yeah. Where this one, I feel like because of everything with J.K. Rowling and the anti-trans stuff that she said, uh-huh. like they go out of their way to be to, trans. Yeah, to be, to be so, pro-trans. So when you go to the three boom, the three broomsticks, uh-huh. the owner is a trans character. Okay. And they, but they don't they don't point out that they're trans. It's just. They're just so obviously trans, <laughs> which I'll, and I'll get. I have a story about that. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and then, so and then, like later on, you meet another, uh, you meet another wizard, and she's like, she's an older, like you know, she looks like she's in her forties or fifties. She's probably in her fifties or sixties, mm-hmm. and so she's probably like two hundred years old. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you, you do a mission for her, and then she starts talking about her wife. I'm like. This is the 1800s. They didn't have lesbian relationships in the 18 goddamn hundreds. <laughs> you don't know that. You weren't alive in the 1800s. I wasn't. I'm not a wizard. But um, anyway, so they claim that 
lesbian uh, or gay and lesbian relations have been around since ancient Rome. Since ancient Rome, yes. So lesbianics has been or Greece. Been, yeah. Well, yeah, Greece was super gay. Yeah. Greece is mad gay, dude. <laughs> I was just I was just talking about. Uh, it was an old story I had, we had, I had brought up. For some reason, I was going through my emails and I found like an old set of stories I had sent. Mm-hmm. And where the, one of the stories was uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, Odyssey lets you be as gay as you want to be. And then I found like there were like comments underneath it on the story itself. Where it was like someone posts underneath that is like in uh, in ancient Greece they would behead you for being gay. Mm-hmm. And someone put underneath that you think ancient Greece wasn't gay. <laughs> 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 and he puts. I follow, uh, uh, oh no, because oh, he was like, they would be hand you in ancient Greece, and for a game that prides itself on, you know, being historically accurate, blah, blah, blah. And that's when someone was like, you think ancient Greece wasn't gay? And this guy was like, I know for a fact that they followed the ways of Christianity. And I was like, all right. Uh, <laughs> you know nothing about ancient they Greece. Christ- they follow Christianity because the idea that God isn't like gay people is only 100 years old. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Uh, but so, yeah, so there's that. And then, uh, 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 with the trans character, so there's like, there's two different camps on these characters. So a lot of people are like, cause like this one, it, it is like, and it's not shoving it down your throat. They're not really like, they're not, they're not forcing you. To, they're saying that she's a trans character. It's just, it's obviously a trans character. They're kind of like, you know, doing things where it's not, it's not shoved down your throat. It's just, this is the life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, so, there's some people that are happy about that, and like, oh, this is cool. Like, same thing when, when you create your character. You can create a, um, a male-looking character, give it a female voice, and put it in with the witches. Yeah. And so, like, it's like, you know, you can do what, like, it's very, very... Mixed match. Yeah. Uh, but, so, the trans character, her name is Sirona Ryan. Uh, okay. And so, or Sirona, it's pronounced Sirona. Uh, so, people are, like... <laughs> People are upset because so the trans character, her name is Sir Ronia Serona Ryan, which is a man's name. <laughs> like, okay. it's, just, it's just Sir, just because it's the the first yeah so syllable the, is Sir. They're saying it. They're making it very so. Like one of the memes I saw was like uh, uh, like it was a uh, uh, like hogwarts legacy thinking of names to name their first trans character and it was like anita not a man <laughs> <laughs> it was just like a bunch of stuff like that where it's just like like <laughs> Wait, what is it Ivana, Ivana fucks a lot <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly it was something like that but it was all like man-centric it was like like i'm like uh, uh what was it? it was like uh jenny really a dude or something like, shit like that it was all names like that so they're saying it's like this is like, oh, they're, they have to emphasize the sir. Like, why is her name start with sir? It's like, and then I guess, I guess it's, it's Samantha like, should have been a guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but they're saying that the, the name actually, hold on, let me see here. So the name meaning, it actually, it's from uh, Celtic mythology. The goddess of healing is the name Serona. That's where they got the name Serona from. Mm-hmm. But you add that Sirona Ryan now, it's like, you know, that's why it's, it's very man-heavy, I guess. Uh-huh. So some people are upset about that. Which, I feel like they're just like, no matter what you would have done there, mm-hmm. they would have been upset about it. Because, yeah. like, again, like I said, they're not, they're not telling you that it's a trans character. So if they would have named it, like, Jennifer Winklebottom... Then they're like, why it isn't? Why is she completely female? Why is her bottom bottom winkling? <laughs> huh? Exactly, there would have been some kind of complaint about it. Well, um, why is she the trans character and her bottom winkles? <laughs> exactly, there, there would have been some kind of complaint about it. So, like to me, it's like a dumb, like they don't. Well, yeah, they're they're looking for anything to make this game not successful. Yeah, I mean, they're even they they attack any streamer who's who's streaming the game right now. Yep. Uh, there was a, there was a website like that had a bot running. Uh-huh. That would literally, if it was streaming, anyone, anyone, it was literally monitoring Twitch, and anyone that would even mention the game was getting attacked. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, they're, 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 I mean, and, okay, I get J.K. Rowling did whatever, said whatever she said, and, you know, because, yeah, I, I remember before the game came out, too, there were people saying, like, yeah, hey, enjoy the Harry Potter movies, enjoy the books, and we're not going to take that away from you, but this is a new property. This mm-hmm. has nothing to do with your nostalgia, has nothing to do with your... Like, you're just giving money to J.K. Rowling at this point. Mm-hmm. But it's 
still part of the like is part of the nostalgia. It's part of the books. It's part of the. Well, universe. even if you enjoy the movies and you enjoy the and the, you enjoy the books, J.K. Rowling gets royalties on any sale. And anything, yeah, yeah. So you're still supporting. Yeah, exactly. But like you, you support so many other things that are awful in, yeah. in, in the world. Your phone. Your phone is most likely uh, made by children. Yes. You know, yeah. your, your, fucking, your fucking Nikes yep. and Vans are, are made, by, made yep. by children, probably. Yeah. Or gentrified slaves. In, in, exactly, in, like, yeah. Like, somewhere in and Africa. There's, and there's, like, anytime you support anything that's corporate or... Yeah. That's, that's the, the nature of the world nowadays. Um, shoot, there was something I was going to say on that. Yeah. I lost my train of thought on it now. Um, Chetos. I had a really good follow up to that. It just went out the <laughs> went out the window. Uh, really quick. Oh, so what do you think? What do you, what do you think the most popular house? So they did a like because uh, the game just came out technically yesterday. Well, Hogwarts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to come out on the eleventh, I think. Yeah, it went today. Today's the thirteenth. No, today's the twelfth. Today's. The 12th. Oh well, I think it was supposed to come out Friday, and then and then you got it. I got it seventy two hours early. Yeah, you get it on Tuesday if you pre-order it on PlayStation yeah. or something. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've had it for a couple of days. So what they're saying is, as of yesterday, mm-hmm. what do you think the most popular house in Hogwarts is right now? Park Gryffindor. You would, or you would think because of the movie. But, yeah, Slytherin is actually the, first, the most popular. Because I feel, I feel like most people are inclined to play... Villains, evil, yeah. yeah. They go evil first, yeah, and then they play good, and then they play it again and go good, yeah, yeah. And Slytherin is generally like the the bad house, right? yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Which is, you at know, least in the movies, yeah. One of the things that's refreshing, well, in the books too, like it's very like it's very implied that Slytherin is just a bunch of assholes, yeah. In this book, what are in the game? What I'm liking is the fact that everyone's kind of like all the houses are chill. Like yeah. everyone talks to everyone. Like you're like you're walking through, and you'll see the different houses just kind of hanging out. Uh-huh. Like no one's like there. Yes, there's that co- com- the competitive nature of it because you still have the you know the the points and the house cup and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But like everyone hangs out. It's not like yeah. is oh. there a goblet of fire? I have not seen the goblet of fire yet. But there's a lot of. They gotta like, have DLC where it's like a goblet of fire. That'd be cool. Out. That'd be fucking cool as shit. That could be the PvP. That could be the multiplayer. The multiplayer, yeah, that would be fucking awesome. You, you just go into the goblet of fire. Yeah. And you do the different to, trials. You have to compete. Yeah. There's a ton of fucking. It's like uh, it'd be like Fall Guys, but like Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, there's a ton of Easter eggs too. So like, um, you can go into the uh, the bathroom where the, the Chamber of Secrets and the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is. Mm-hmm. And like so, like obviously, uh, none of the stuff that happens in the movies has happened yet. Moaning Myrtle's not there because she's not even born yet. She hasn't died. She hasn't born. She hasn't been born to die yet. <laughs> so, but you can go into the stall where they like the stall where they make the potions, and there's like a pot, a pot of uh, like a potion brewing in there. Mm-hmm. There's like a sign that says "out of order," and when you open the door, like the pot of potion is there brewing. Um, one of the toilets next to it like explodes water up. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, there's little 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 things like that where you can see like. Like, this is a, like, and there's certain things, like, certain areas where it's like, okay, this is, they took this spot just from the movie. Like, this is exactly yeah. how it looks in the movie. So, it's very, it's pretty cool. Like, mm-hmm. uh, but then, like, the detail in the castle is so fucking cool. Like, there's so much to do in the game. Yeah. And, I, again, I'm not, I'm very fucking, I'm, I, like, I've, I've gone, I've left, I've gone from Hogwarts to Hogsmeade, and, like, there's one other little village I've been to now. Oh, okay. And that's it. And there's still, like, I've done so many different side missions. I've done, like, and they're fun. What are you fighting typically? Like monsters or uh, goblins. goblins? Goblins are the are the main villain right now. Uh-huh. Uh, but like, I fought a lot of dark wizards already too. Okay. So uh, and then spiders, fucking shit ton of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> What's that big ass spider's name? Aragon, Aragog, Gog, with the G. Aragog. Yeah. I, th- I thought it was Aragor. And I think it's Aragog. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, there's a shit ton of fucking giant spiders. Mm-hmm. Um, and and what's cool is like it's like every character like. So the Dark Wizards themselves, like, they, they, they can do different shields. Mm-hmm. So, like, you have to use different spells on them to, like, break their shield, and then you hit them with your other stuff. Yeah. Um, the spiders are, you know, like, you hit them with, with uh, uh, the fire. And, yeah. like, there's different, like, you know, obviously there's different tactics for every different character. Um, the goblins, what I like about fighting the goblins, though, is, like, they, because, like, the Dark Wizards, actually, no, I just came across a, a, an, 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 an Animagus. 
So like I was just fighting these guys. All of a sudden, a fucking wolf tackled me. I was like, "What the fuck? I thought there was just wizards here." <laughs> then like, I, I I I stunned the wolf and it turned into a human. I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> it was a guy all the time. <laughs> so there's a lot of cool shit. And then like, so the goblins, the way they attack, they're little. They just kind of. Guy's name was Steve. I'm actually a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> but they attack you because they're little. But they like they do this thing where they kind of swell up like like a like a shadow, and they hit you with it. Like it's it's fucking it's cool. Like, the combat is cool. It's hard to explain, but it's really good. Yeah. Um, it feels fluid. It, just, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel forced at all. It doesn't feel like you're, like... The, the combos aren't, like, hard to do. Like, it just feels really fucking good. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I highly recommend it. Yeah, I'm going to get it. The, this, it's probably going to be a slow play for me, though. Just because it's Destiny's... Destiny's new expansion is coming out uh-huh. like two in two weeks. So, it's just, like... Yeah, it's just I can happen. juggle it, but it's like uh, I'm also trying to play Last of Us, like as as, as the show's going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which I need to get get to the to the next section now because uh, they just did uh, Kenny and Sam. In oh, the did they? Re- most recent episode. Nice. Yeah, yeah I, I need to catch up. on I keep Last saying of Kenny. It's Henry. Henry. Henry yeah. and Sam. Yeah. <laughs> I need I need to catch up on Last of Us. So, I mean, from what I've seen, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't watched the last what two episodes, three episodes now. Three, yeah, you haven't watched three, four, or five. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm behind. Yeah, so episode three is Mad Gay. Without spoiling anything, it's yeah. Mad Gay, but really good. Yeah, it might be the re- it might be one of the best episodes of television that you could probably watch. The only thing is that if come the last two episodes of the season things start getting rushed, I blame that episode. Uh, I, so, yeah. I feel like it was so far removed from what from Joel and Ellie. Yeah, yeah. Like it, like that's what we'll see. That uh, okay. Eighty so, percent of the episode is uh, Bill and Frank. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, and then, like on the ends, you have Joel and Ellie. Um, but is, and then, uh, and then the the rest of it's been good. Yeah. Well, see, to me, like so, like that episode, to me anyway, like in the game, isn't that where you learn how to set traps and all that? Yeah. So that's, that's what, what we say. You learn well. You're not really learning to set traps. You're but that's a tutorial. They, like yeah, that's a tutorial thing, and they give. Uh, I mean, Bill. Bill gives you the the first trap. Yeah. And you make it after. Yeah. Um, and then you go to the school. You get the car battery. You fight your first bloater. Yeah. All that. Uh, none of that's. In none there. of that happens. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I thought. What I thought. So like, because I have seen spoilers for that last for that episode. Uh-huh. I've been trying to avoid like, like. If you want to avoid spoilers for anything, you just have to avoid the internet. Yeah. Like so, like the UFC fights last night. I didn't. I didn't want to watch any spoilers. I hadn't watched the fight yet. I pulled up Instagram because I got a message, backed out, right there on the. Fr- and then this was from U- UFC. It was like the fucking results for the main event. Yeah. It was like, come on now. Like, yeah. <laughs> and so like I've seen all kinds of spoilers and like so, I feel like that. I feel like Michael's uh, what he said last week about the show. Was his like that's the consensus consensus about the is like that was like the, like the kissing scene where it's like okay fade to black fade to black <laughs> fade to black <laughs> like, like that's basically what everyone felt about that movie that that episode was just like okay yeah like it's really gay <laughs> yeah it, it's just a really drawn out like make out like it was like a drawn out like make out like kind of or kiss yeah. And that's about it. And then there's like a there's like where he's like laying on top of him. Yeah. And they're about like. He's about to like suck his dick essentially, and, yeah, and then yeah. he finally cuts, cuts off. Just cuts away. And, uh, uh, <laughs> it's like that, uh, like that little Nas X video. Uh-huh. Were you, were you, yeah, we watched it together, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like these niggas are still kissing. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that reminds me. Um, we got to call Kanye up. Oh shit. Uh, um, so <laughs> I don't know if you remember the episode that we talked about when uh, Kanye t- had given us permission to say the N word more. Uh huh. Apparently, YouTube doesn't agree with us, and uh, they took that episode down off the. Off oh, they YouTube. did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it apparently doesn't meet community guidelines. <laughs> did we even say the N word? We just said the N word. I think we just said the N word. Yeah, we just said N word. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't actually say the word, but we're yeah, just so saying Kanye gave us permission. He said that we if we wanted it. to, yeah, we could say we it. We could say it more, but apparently, all right. Apparently, let's take a quick break, and then uh, we'll come back after a word from our sponsors. <laughs> What's going on, people? It's Pistol Pete Jr. here. Just to remind you one more time to check out Ray's Energy Drinks by Rep Sports. Ray's Energy Drinks. Amazing flavors. Zero sugar, zero dyes, zero crash. None of the junk, none of the bullshit that's in these other energy drinks. They're amazing. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love them. Use 
Coupon code TRPS for checkout. Get 15% off your order. Check out repsports.com. R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com. Again, use coupon code TRPS uh, for 15% off your order and to let them know that we sent you. Oh, yeah, we're fucking back with the Petering Out Podcast. Oh, oh. The official break, not the interruption. Not the interruption break, yes. That dog just stepped on my new kicks. I've been getting a lot of... I got the hookup on... Uh, on uh, I know you got that George. Sponsor. Yeah, that was that was Jasmine earlier. But I got the hookup. On. These are all patent leather. These are nice. It's cosmic. But I got the hookup. If you if you want some some Jordans, let me know. All right. I got the hookup. Any color you want. Um, use coupon code TRPS <laughs> <laughs> for for this hookup that we will not disclose. We will not disclose. Uh, I might, maybe, if I get authorization to do it. This I might actually. This is what you've been doing in uh, in Mexico. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see here. Oh, since you were talking about, you were comparing to For Spoken, I saw some clips of, uh, I guess it's like the opening, the opening, like, thing when you're in the city. Yeah. And, uh, and I was laughing so hard because they're, they're all, I was watching streamers play it. And they're all reacting to the, her being in the fire. Yeah. And it was just like a bag of cash. From like, pick up the fucking oh bag of cash. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Everyone's like, pick up the bag of cash. Just put the like, just put it over your shoulder, and then you go get the cat. Yeah. And, and, like, and it won't let you pick up the cash, and you have to go get the cat. And then when you get the cat, the fucking room catches on fire, and you can't get the cash. Yeah. It's so fucking frustrating. <laughs> it, it, like, what, no, what makes it worse, it gives you, it gives you the prompt yeah. to pick up the cash. Uh-huh. And it says... No, go find the cat first. <laughs> Fuck you, the cash is right there. Why can't I carry it out? <laughs> it's not like this is going to like hinder me from finding the cat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that should be me laugh. And then there's a couple things with like the muggers. And like she's like she's like running away. She's like parkouring, parkouring yeah, yeah, yeah. like crazy over things. And she makes it over a chain link fence. And she's like, like they have a gun. They can just shoot through that's the what, That's <laughs> like, what I said. I literally said that. Like, you jump over the fence, and, like, they have a gun. Like, why don't they shoot you through the <laughs> fence? And then, okay, in that section, after you... So, you run out this alley, right? Uh-huh. And you're, like, back in the main street. And literally, they come out in front of you somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like... Like, so I just ran around all these buildings to get away from them, and they're in front of me now. <laughs> like, what the fuck well, happened? They're, they're 20 men strong, you know? They have the perimeter <laughs> down, locked yeah. down. And they're just so, they're just generic gang members. Yeah. They're just, like, so just... Yeah, this shit was funny, though. That game, uh, I gave, like, uh, I know I know Player 2 beat it. He said he said it got better. He actually played through the he, entire he game. He played huh? through. I, you know what? He he bought, like, I've done that where, like, you, I, I bought this game. I got I, I yeah. need to beat it because... So he paid for it. I didn't fucking pay for it. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, he he said he he said it got better. Mm-hmm. He says that like at one point you become so like so beasty that like the 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 actual combat like the issues with combat don't really affect you. Uh-huh. Um, which is which I mean okay, but to me the, the story like the story wasn't intriguing enough that I, I I played it to a point where okay, like I don't I like this is so frustrating that the story is not intriguing enough to keep me playing it. Mm-hmm. But the story was intriguing enough to get me to play it for at least a while. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it's just... And then to me, like, the dialogue was just so, like... Oh, you're from another world, aren't you? Yeah, I'm from another world. <laughs> oh, what's it like in your other world? Uh, it's a lot different than this world. So, the other world that you come from, tell me about it. <laughs> and, like, yeah, and, like, but, and like, there was no, like, the, the conversation was... It was... None of it was fluid. Every, like, literally, it was, like... I don't think any of the actors were around each other when they when they recorded the voices. Yeah, they didn't have like actual of them like do the lines like, no to each other. Yeah. It was just it's just like they they brought them in. They brought this actor in on Wednesday and they yeah. recorded all the lines. Yeah, so like you read this, this, this and then like, and like they just read it as if they're just reading the line. Uh-huh. So it's very it's very like I said. It's just, so tell me about your world. And it's like there's no like it's just phoned in. <laughs> and like so there's no like like reaction reacting to each other like. And even even like there's a there's like in in the game like like you meet this little girl, mm-hmm. and I feel like it's such a cheap kind of like, like this is why you stay in the world because like the whole time like she gets there and she's like I just want to go back home, 
Mm-hmm. And even like the bracelet thing that she has, she is like, why the fuck do you want to go back home? Like you, so you find that bracelet in New York when you're still like she's complaining about like fuck, I have no money because of the fire. Yeah. Uh, apartment I, burned down. I just gave my cat away because I don't have a fucking apartment now. Uh-huh. And uh, and she plus she was she was squatting in a broke like it was a like like it was a, she broke into that apartment and was squatting there. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so she was already homeless. She all she had was her cat and she lost that bag of money. Like that was her escape from New York. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and then like, uh, so she's bitching about that as she finds the bracelet, and then she gets to this world, and she's like, "I need to get back home." And the bracelet's like, "Why the fuck do you want to go back home?" Yeah, you're like, you're having a miserable time. <laughs> yeah, it was like literally, it's like, it, it, like it, what, I think he says at one point, like, like you did, it didn't seem like you were having a good time or a good life there. Uh-huh. She was like, "Yeah, but I got to get back home." It's like, why the fuck do you need to get back home? And so like the whole game, like up until this point, is like. I need to get back home. I just show me what I got to do so I can get back home. Mm-hmm. And you help this girl out so you can get back home. And then like you meet this other little girl and you give her a, a flashlight. It's it's very Ash. It's very Evil Dead or <laughs> Army of Darkness where it's like this is my boomstick. <laughs> you give her, but instead of a boomstick, it's a flashlight. Like, yeah. And they're like, oh shit, it lights up. <laughs> 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 so you you give this flashlight to the little girl and she becomes your friend. And then, like, you leave on a mission, you come back, and someone attacks the town, mm-hmm. and they kill the little girl. Like, mm-hmm. she just, like, they don't, like, they don't kill her, but, like, in the destruction, she dies. Oh, and then okay. your main character's like, fuck that, I'm gonna kill that lady. <laughs> and then that's why you stay in the world. Like, uh, okay, yeah. But it's very, it's very, like, that's where I gave up. Because, like, that, that moment, it was just very, like, it was meant to be very sad. It's gonna be, like, the whole time, the whole time, I didn't give a fuck about that little kid. You, you fucked up my flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> That, you know what? Then that would have kept, kept me play. <laughs> fucked up my flashlight. The only flashlight I had. The flashlight was given to me by my father. <laughs> I gave it to that little girl because because my father. <laughs> I'm assuming that something happened in the game that you... So, uh, like, the way it seems like is, like, that girl's... Like, she's from that world originally. Mm-hmm. Because in the, in, the, in, in the game, it's like the opening story is like... Little girl found under bridge. No parents to be, to, you know. She grew That's up. That's her. Okay. Yeah, and like so, she's actually named after the fucking bridge. Like whatever they, wherever they found. They put it like they made a girl version of the name. Yeah, because her name's what, Frey or something. Frey, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's just her nickname, though. I forget her real name right now, though. It's, like, something to do with the Holland Tunnel or fucking some tunnel in New York. Uh, <laughs> like, she was named after some fucking tunnel in New York. Or that was her last name. They gave her the last name of the tunnel. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so I think her last name is Holland. Hmm. And, or it's like, it's like Astrid Holland because the blanket she had said Astrid on it so like that's her name and so and they named her after the tunnel because there was no one around mm-hmm. it's like so it, it, it very it seems like oh well she was born in this world and they, she was in danger so we fucking sent her to New York here's a baby <laughs> um let me see here what else do I got oh the uh, episode 5 dropped on Friday huh instead of Sunday yeah. cause to, to avoid Super Bowl yeah, to avoid Super Bowl, which is smart because they've supposedly just been breaking records with the viewership every yeah week, yeah every week. Um, but this and and four and five is kind of like a two parter, right? Yeah. So it's like four is kind of like setting up five. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And uh, five five was amazing. They executed that perfectly, and then four four is probably like the most most one for one to the game. Okay. Pretty much. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna watch them. I'm probably gonna watch them. Tonight, maybe uh, they Part. do. They do give uh, some some background to the hunters. Like they, they they show a leader. There's a leader to the ah, hunters okay, okay. Uh, and all that. So they kind of humanize them a little more. And they're not just like we're because like in the game, it's just uh, uh, survival of the fittest, and we just kill anybody we see, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And then, uh, this is a little more they're like a rebellion, ah, okay. uh, similar to Fireflies, but not, but not. Yeah. yeah. Just a different philosophy. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, I was going to say something speaking of the Super Bowl. Um, I know that the insert team name here is going to win. So I'm just going to go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those guys are definitely... Those guys... It's, it was in the bag. In the bag the whole By the third time. quarter, it was in the bag. In they the weren't. bag, exactly. <laughs> like, there was no doubt about it at all. Uh... <laughs> So, the last couple times we've gone to the theater, I don't know, when was the last time you've been to AMC? I think, um, it was a Marvel movie. Whatever. What was the most recent? Black, uh, Black Panther. 
Oh, oh yeah, because you didn't see that with me, huh? Yeah. Okay. So apparently AMC is going to start charging for better seats. So, oh, yeah, that's Yeah, so the, the, like the center row or the center aisles and then that like behind for behind that walkway, uh -huh. they're going to be, uh, they're saying it's going to be up to uh, uh, 5 to $10 more. That's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. 5 to $10. Like, I can do maybe $5 more. You know what I mean? I'll pay $5 more. No, I'd be like three. Yeah, okay, yeah. Maybe I wouldn't pay more than five. Maybe three to five. If, if Five if it's like center, like dead center. Dead center, yeah, yeah. Like, like, those, like those first, what, eight rows or first those eight seats in the middle maybe? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't pay more than five dollars. But they're saying five to ten dollars, uh -huh. which is fucking nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean... But, I mean, I'll give AMC has the most, like, out of theater, theater-wise, they have the most comfortable seats. Yeah, they do. I'm not going to pay no fucking $5 more for a seat. Uh, the the Regal ones, I mean, they're cheaper entrance. The seats aren't, they're not bad. I mean, the only thing is you got to keep it lean back yourself. Like, mm. If you want to recline, you got to, it doesn't have that power recliner. You just got to. You got to use your abs. You got to use your abs. And, like, <laughs> you got to work out during that movie. <laughs> Um, and you saw like, Elijah Wood was uh, going going off on him. Oh no! I yeah, didn't. For, for that reason, for he was like, this is such a, like a, an awful thing to do. It really it, is. Like it really, it really just like it's something about like it, it, you're just giving like richer people like just more chances to be able yeah. to watch stuff the way yeah. do, like that stuff. Like you're just and, and then you're just making. It harder, more less accessible for uh, just like low income. Well, yes, yeah, right? I agree. I agree completely. I agree. Uh, it, it's one of those things where because nobody wants to be in that front row. They might as well just get rid of that those first those fucking first fucking yeah three four rows. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> nobody it's wants unwatchable. To right exactly. There. Yeah. Because you're like you're just looking straight up. Like you can't. Like you're not enjoying the movie. You can't see the whole fucking screen. Like it's it's terrible. <laughs> unless unless those fucking seats are three dollars. <laughs> I can tell you the only time I've ever enjoyed a movie in the front row. Uh, me and the Guidster, aka McFlurry, mm -hmm. had taken acid, and we were at we were at Puente Cosmo, and we were fucking gone. And he came up there. He goes, "Let's go see a movie." And do you remember the movie Ants? The animated movie? Yeah. Yeah. Not Bugs Life. Ants. Yeah, Ants. Yeah. So it was that movie. So we saw that movie on acid in the front row. <laughs> 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 that's a good one that's a good one to watch out yeah and like so like we're watching these fucking three uh, three story tall ants <laughs> <laughs> just tripping out of our minds like, these ants are way too big man <laughs> legit having conversation hey yeah, you think ants are really like that you think they have whole societies and they're just hanging out and having parties and, and then we just <laughs> decimate them all <laughs> and see also I, I'm sure I brought this up on the show before too but so I think we brought it up with him on the show, but he in his backyard he had this tree stump that had a had like an ant hive in it, mm -hmm. and we would we would make sacrifices to the ants. <laughs> <laughs> so like like uh, at our at the house we had there was a wasp nest, and then me so Michael was probably let me see he had he couldn't have been older let me see wait I left in two thousand, so Michael couldn't have been older than like eight. Mm -hmm. Seven or eight at the time, and so he's like, yeah, like Jasmine's age, younger than Jasmine. Yeah. And we'd go out there. We had these like the the palm trees, like they, you know, there's like a the flat part of it. We would break them down and we'd make a paddle out of them. So we had these like paddles, and we, I would go and like hit the the wasp nest. And me and Michael with these paddles, these swatting wasps <laughs> out of the sky. They'd be coming out. Which, that was our entertainment. <laughs> We're just swatting wasps. That's what I would do. I would do that in uh in my pool. <laughs> Cause fucking bees love to fucking dive in there for whatever reason, and yeah. then uh, but like, at the time it was like, I felt like they were attacking me, so I'd yeah. get the net and I'd ca I'd get them and I'd smack them into the pool and I'd drown them, <laughs> <laughs> and then like I remember one day like I just had like a crazy amount of bees just like dead, <laughs> just like dead on the on the side of <laughs> <laughs> this is my kill. <laughs> Cause I, cause like when I was little, I'd be in the pool for fucking all day, eight hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. all day, and uh, yeah, and like I just, I contributed a lot to the to <laughs> the, the extinction, of bees. yeah, to the extinction of bees that day, you know. Oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little eight bit character. I'm just on a pile of dead bees, <laughs> standing triumphantly on a pile of dead bees. 
Um, but no, so we would take, so we would get those wasps, and like they'd still be, they'd be stunned. They wouldn't be dead. Uh-huh. And we'd catch them in a little jar, and we would take them to the beehive and just throw them on the or on the anthill. Uh-huh. You know, throw them on the anthill, and like so we'd be stoned out of our minds just watching ants. Just because have you ever watched that? Like uh, it, it throw, it throw like a, a, another bug on. An oh animal. yeah, me and my da- my dad would show me. He would get, we would find a dead spider and we yeah. throw it in there. And they, the way they just tear or we apart. would find like a or even worse, we'd get like a, a spider who was like and like a broken leg. Yeah, yeah. And, and then just, we'd throw it in there and then we just let them fight. Yeah, that's what we would do. That was like so. So me and Michael would we'd hunt wasps and then, we, and then me and Leo would feed them to the ants. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we and like it was a trip. Because ants would always do the same thing. They would always they would swarm it to pin it down, and they would always rip out the stingers first. Mm-hmm. They'd always pull the stinger out first, and then they would drag that away, and then they would just just pull the whole wasp apart. Mm-hmm. There was one time we sent we uh, we dropped black widows in there. We dropped all kinds of bugs. But so us doing that, and then going to see ants. It's <laughs> 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 not ants. What if they just worship you? Like, Thank you, leaders. Thank you, masters. <laughs> We're the gods of ants. <laughs> Thank you for another. Knowing you went away, they're like, we haven't see, we haven't gotten food <laughs> in nineteen years. We've been abandoned by. We've our been gods. abandoned. <laughs> the gods have. Uh, whoever's else. living in that house is constantly being raided by, <laughs> an- by, by those ants. ants. <laughs> Give us our. <laughs> our god has forsaken us. Uh, that's the name of the. <laughs> that's the name of the episode. <laughs> the gods have abandoned us. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh, damn it. I lost my train of thought now. What was I going to pull up? Oh, yeah. I got, I got more stories. Hold on. <laughs> uh, a lot of my stuff was, was Hogwarts related. Just Oh, so, hey, did you have... Um, when was the last time you watched any of the Harry Potter movies? Uh, ooh, not recently. So, I re- uh, me and Jasmine were watching, because she's been playing the game, too. She was loving it. Mm-hmm. Which they have, which is cool. They have, like, a story mode, which is, like, so... It's, like, super easy. Yeah. Super easy, minimal combat. And if, if the combat is too hard, you can just skip it. Oh, okay. Uh, so like I, I watched it. Like she was, she was doing something, and it was like it, it got this problem. Like she died twice. And it was like, you want to just skip this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not a part of the story. You can just skip it. What, what other game did that? Wasn't it um, uh, Metal Gear? Wasn't there a hat or something you could wear? Yes, there was a hat. Yeah, there was, was a hat you could wear. Yeah, it was like yeah. Um, but so we're watching the movie again because there was like so much. She she remembers the first four movies. Mm-hmm. Which wait no, Prisoner Prisoner of Azkaban. She remembers Three. up to that. The Three. third movie, mm-hmm. and she remembers a bit of the fourth one, but like other than that, like she doesn't remember the mm-hmm. the darker ones. And so we're watching them again, but on Peacock, because that's the only place you can stream them right now. Okay, they have extended scenes and a lot oh, of really? like deleted stuff. I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. Like we were watching, she goes, I don't remember any of this. I was like, shit, I don't remember this either. <laughs> so uh, uh, there's a scene like, and I guess right now because of Peacock and a lot of people are going, it's, it's like it's like The Last of Us. Everyone's going to watch or playing The Last of Us now. Yeah. Because the show was so good, uh-huh. everyone's going to back back and watching the Harry Potter movies because the game is so good. Yeah. And so there's a deleted scene with Dudley, I and mean, I want to say it's in the book. But you know, at the end when uh, when like they all have to leave, Dudley's uh, the cousin, the fat cousin, yeah, the always bullies him. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they have like a kind of like a nice moment at the end. Yeah, right? where yeah. like they're, like they're found like they're leaving, and the dad's all like, "Hurry up, get in the like, car, I don't think you're go. useless or whatever." Yeah, yeah, yeah like, I, don't, I don't think you're useless. You're part of you're one of us. Uh-huh. Like, you're family or whatever. He pulls he pulls a Vin Diesel and he family. Yeah, I think I saw that on TikTok or Reels. Or yeah, whatever. so that's like it's like everyone's like, "Oh, fucking Dudley wasn't such a dick the whole time after yeah. all." Like, well, he he, he <laughs> stopped being a brat at some point. At some point, yeah, he just kind of <laughs> redeemed himself. But yeah, in the movie, you never get that redemption moment because like he's like he just doesn't even say bye. He just gets in the car and leaves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so at least now that now that people are watching it on Peacock and has the extended scenes, people are like, "Oh, Dudley wasn't such a dick after all." Yeah, yeah, it would have. Yeah, it's better that they do that because because I think Harry saves him right from yeah, the Dementors. Harry's, from at some the point, Dementors, right? yeah. So, um, oh, have you seen the uh, Fast X? No, is it Fast X? That's the last one coming out, or? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I, is there a trailer? I haven't seen it. There's a trailer that just came out. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. So it... It, it doesn't. Well, I, I'm sorry. I saw the teaser. I haven't seen the trailer yet. But the teaser is literally it's Vin Diesel in a car. Then it's fucking uh, uh, Michelle Rodriguez in a car. Uh-huh. Then it's <laughs> uh, John Cena in a car. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just them in the window. Like, like it's just like whoosh. Was John Cena in the last movie or not? I don't. Or is he like new? I think he's new this time. Uh-huh. Yeah. They, they got another wrestler because mm. The Rock's not doing them anymore. So oh, he's not? No. Mm. Because of the whole beef thing. Oh, they're still having that? Yeah. Mm. Well, I, I guess they squashed the beef, but they were just like, well, let's just not. 
Yeah. It's not uh, make more beef. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So they're keeping him out. So John Cena's coming in. Uh, and then they show uh, Jason Momoa. Uh, oh. I think they show he's on a motorcycle. Is he the villain? Yeah, he's the villain. He's going to be the main villain in this one. They always do that. They always introduce like a badass villain and then he be- they become part of the they crew. Be- yeah, it's, it's always like, yeah. You're part of the crew now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know is what? Jason, is Jason Statham still in there? He's Jason like, I fucking Statham, hate yeah. all you guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, But I love all you guys. I love all you guys. Family. <laughs> there was a, uh, you know uh, what? You're allowed, and then Vin Diesel goes, you're allowed to hate family. <laughs> but we're never apart. <laughs> we're the family you choose. <laughs> no, there's a thing. Uh, I don't know if I sent it to you guys or not now that I think about it. it just, I just popped in my head. I have to keep going back to Harry Potter. But so it's like, it's like some dude animated this video. It's like, hey, Harry, what is that that you got over there? Oh, it's some kind of... It's a scene from when he was getting the invisibility cloak. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, it's some kind of cloak. And then he puts it on, and the guy comes back to the guy. Oh, that's an invisibility cloak. That's so awesome. What do you got, Vin? And it goes, it comes to Vin Diesel. Family. Family. And then, <laughs> then the guy comes back to the other guy. He's like... He's crying. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so dirty, but <laughs> oh, it was perfect. Um, yeah, but yeah, for whatever reason, like, okay, I'll, I'll tell you this from personal experience. When I was, I can't even remember the dude's name now, going back, but there was a dude in high school that we hate, or growing up, like, we hated each other. Growing up, we hated each other, and we would, like, fight all the time. Then in high school, we got into a fight, and we got into a fight where it was just, it was one of those fights where neither of us won but neither of us lost mm-hmm. <laughs> like we just beat the shit out of each other for like a good like i want to say it lasted 30 minutes uh-huh. but in real fight time it was probably like two <laughs> but after that we became great friends like this is like right like there's no reason for us to fight anymore like, uh-huh. it was just one of the, it was like it was like that like not to put it like but it was like that too like it's just you just gave everything you had into that fight and it was just like all right well and we became friends after that. Uh-huh. So I could see, like, that happening to a villain in Fast and the Furious. Like, all right, you guys put up a hell of a fight. And, like, we have a mutual respect now. And, like, now we're not opposing sides anymore. So we could be friends. Yeah. But every but villain... every very <laughs> person you fight is, a, is so understanding. What, no, what it is is, is, is that, that Dominic Toretto is just so fucking cool. Yeah. That everyone is like, if, if you like weren't trying to thwart me right now, Feeling Donald, the pure force of your fists on my face. <laughs> Really made me understand that you're a cool guy. <laughs> He's cool as shit, Dom. And I, and I would love to be a part of your family. <laughs> Cause yeah, so wait, no, wait. Cause there was no villain. Well, technically, Dom was a villain in the first one. Was he? Technically, because remember, well, I don't know. Cause uh, I thought he was in the second one. No, Paul Walker's the main guy. Paul the Walker. Paul Walker. You're following Paul Walker as an undercover cop in the first one, mm-hmm. and he's trying to buzz Dominic. Because okay. they're stealing yeah. shit. That's yeah. the first one. The second one, Dominic Toretto's not even in it. Oh, that's right. Okay. And it, so it's it's Paul Walker and uh, Tyrese. And Tyrese, yeah. And I don't remember who the villain was in that one. Oh, it was that 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 Cuban dude? He was like a drug lord. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because he was back undercover. Yeah, and then three. And then Tokyo I don't Drift. It was Tokyo Drift three? I thought it was four. No, Tokyo Drift is three. Oh, and then neither cool. nobody's in that one. It's just like yeah. some random country dude. Yeah, it's just some white boy. <laughs> and fucking little bow wow. He, he comes. He comes back in like eight, and he's like, "You're looking for Han, or or something, or something." <laughs> yeah, like he's not even the main character. Like, like I think Han shows up in the first time in Tokyo Drift. Yeah, and and then uh, like that guy never shows up. But Dom Dom shows up at the end of three, where he like at the very end of the movie, it's like he's just he's just a cameo. Where he just pulls up in his car. And he's like. Yeah, but then, in, but then in, like, Fast 7 or Fast 8, they recreate that scene again. Oh, do they? Okay, yeah. I don't remember that. At the very beginning, they recreate that scene again. Because uh-huh. for whatever reason, he went back. I think he went goes back to Tokyo because he heard Han died. Okay. And uh, and then that, that was, like, the whole thing, why he, why he was there. Why he was there, okay. And, uh, and he was... Uh, he was there. He was also there for something else about... Oh, because Jason Statham uh, was the one who killed Han. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in okay. Tokyo Drift. And so they yeah. connected that, and then they, he went back, so he's looking for, he's trying to find out who's uh, hunting down the crew. Okay. I gotta remember, I got you know what, I don't know if I've watched that one then. Because mm. I think the last one I watched was when Vin Diesel found out he had a kid, when Dom found out he had a kid, uh-huh. and he became the villain. Oh, uh, okay. So that's the one, that's, I think that's the last one I've seen. I think that's the one before that one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I haven't seen, because I, I mean, 
That no, wait, no, wait, no, no. He became uh, no. That's after. That. That's the one after that because Jason Statham's. Oh yeah, he's in that in one. That yeah. One, yeah. Huh. Because that's the one Charlie. Ch- Charlie Theron is yeah. the main guy, and she's yeah, she's controlling Vin because, Diesel. With yeah, the son. she has a kid. Huh. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm, I mean, I you know what? For say what you will about the movies, they're watchable. They're right, entertaining yeah. movies. Like you can go back. and It's watch just ridiculous it. sometimes. Like that Jason Statham one. The way it ends oh, is yeah. is The Rock is in like a full body cast, <laughs> and he just breaks out of his cast. Boom, yeah. like that. And then he just and then it gets a grenade launch, like an M thirty two grenade launcher, <laughs> and he starts fucking shooting that shit at like a tank or a helicopter. Yeah, or something. yeah. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> Wait, is the one with Charlize Theron also the one with? Um... Oh God, what's his name? Heimdall. Uh, no. No? I think that's the most recent one. Okay, I must have skipped one then, because I don't remember... <laughs> I don't remember him at or all. maybe it is. I don't, I don't, I don't think it... I, but I don't think so. I think, yeah, maybe you're right. No, I think the one... No, that one's uh, Hobbs and Shaw. So that's not even... That's a, what, yeah. yeah, it's not a fast. Yeah, it's fast. not even... Yeah. Um... But so this is gonna. This is the last one. I feel like if Paul Walker was still alive, these movies wouldn't be doing as well as. <laughs> I think, think Paul so? Walker's death, because of the oh play- yeah, Paul Walker's death probably definitely made it more popular. Yeah. Instead, instead it probably, yeah. To be fair, it probably would have died with like two more movies, and then they probably went out. Yeah, because the one because the one that he died. The, remember, he died right before the other one released, and they used his brother as a stunt double. And then the, yeah, there's a, and that <laughs> one was super big because yeah. everyone wanted to see his last movie. Yeah, yeah exactly. So. And then that and like they just kind of rolled off of that since yeah. then. Uh, I so the first movie is I, I like to me. I remember like. It was at the height of the underground racing scene, like when like, people were just like everyone was like even here, like well, it was huge here. It was mm-hmm. huge here. The fact that like so, uh, I mean, it's just like you saw cars everywhere like that. Like that was the the, the height of it. And they, they and I feel like they capitalized it on the right time, but then after that, it kind of it like that's why the second one. That's why Vin Diesel wasn't in the second one, and why the third one didn't have anybody from the other movies in it because mm-hmm. it was kind of like okay, we got this first movie, and then like. Now these other two are kind of like meh, and then like they then uh, they brought Paul Walker back, and then he, he did he, wait did they do four? And then he died or did he die after he, they made four? I think he died after four. So okay, and then the I fifth, one, the is fifth one, one is yeah. when yeah is okay. When so now died. we're five more after that. Yeah. And I mean they obviously they um, they make money, mm-hmm. they make money. So I mean, I'm gonna see it. It's just yeah they they at this point they're just so ridiculous. Like what more are they gonna do though? Like they the only thing they haven't done is go to space. Mm. That's like the only thing. Yeah. Or the hood, which most movies like when they they go in the hood. <laughs> they either they go they go to the hood they go to the hood or they go to space. Like <laughs> <laughs> I think they have gone to space in Fast and Furious. Right? Have they? Yeah. They might. So maybe they. I they, think they went to space in like the most recent one or something. <laughs> I mean, technically, I mean, like there's that one like they've gone to the hood many times. They've like, also they were, they've also had a, a a car a car like fight scene or what, a car action scene on like ice. Against the oh, submarine. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> Against the submarine. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, okay. So, uh, Universal, they have the ride, right? Like, It's not a Fast and Furious ride. It's, uh-huh. part of, it's part of the tram tour, the studio tour. And I guess they recently changed it because they added The Rock and, other, they, and Jason Statham to it. Mm-hmm. But on the tram, speaking of ridiculous things, so they have these, like, so... <sighs> you pull into a spot and, like, there's like these screens, like it, it doesn't look like screens. Like it's like they, the 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 technology looks great, so it looks like they're really there. But like obviously it's a screen. Mm-hmm. But it's they introduce you and they're like, okay, make sure when you go in here we're undercover and like just don't don't say anything. And then you go into the next room and like it's a party. But it's like it's like uh, the way they do it. It's like it's so it's like it looks like an auto body shop, mm-hmm. and like everyone's just in the middle. And there's like maybe six people just dancing. <laughs> <laughs> And then the FBI comes in and kicks everyone out, and then like the the thing starts, and they're like, "Get into the next area. We're gonna we're gonna hook you guys up in the next area." So then the train moves, and then like there's these big semi, like picture a semi truck but without the trailer, right? Mm-hmm. And but they're all beefed up and they're flames shooting out of the exhaust, and they launch hooks at the tram, and like you're being dragged along. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh, you're talking about the ride. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think I kind of remember that. It's so ridiculous, but I mean it's. Like it, it's funny because the movie started off as a like fairly real to life, you know. It was a Hollywood version of what was happening in the streets, mm-hmm. 
And now it's just like, like, <laughs> to me, it's like, what government organization would come to a bunch of racers and like, we need your help? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Suicide Squad. It, yeah, it really is. I mean, it's just, it's one of those things, but again, it's, it's become a beloved franchise. There's 10 fucking movies. You're the most elite racers we know, and we can never catch you. Well, I mean... So, do your thing. <laughs> do your, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same thinking between... Uh, have you ever seen Triple X? Yeah, which is a Vin Diesel thing. Yeah, it's so. the same thing. It's like, you're the most extreme athlete in the world. We need your help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think, I think that's going to be the name of the episode. <laughs> you're, the, you're the best crocheter in the world. <laughs> we need your help. <laughs> You son of a bitch, I mean. <laughs> that could be the name of the episode, so we need your help. <laughs> oh, shit. On that note, uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash realpressstart. On Twitter's at realpressstart. Uh, on Instagram at the Real Press Start, On TikTok at the Real Press Start. Like us, rate us, review us, anywhere you get your podcast. And on that note, game over. No more questions.